in the hushed silence of the cosmos, where stars whisper secrets to the night, an eternal plan unfolded, a plan marked by divine commandments set against the canvas of time itself. From the first breath of creation to the prophesied establishment of an eternal temple, this grand narrative weaves through the corridors of history, each thread soaked in profound spirituality and celestial decree. This essay delves deep into the sacred texts, unraveling the divine chronology that orchestrates the rhythm of existence from the dawn of creation to its consummation in eternity. It is a tale not merely of time, but of timeless decrees and eternal purposes that illuminate the path of the faithful through the ages. In the beginning, the sacred texts depict a universe meticulously crafted by the divine, an act that sets forth both physical and metaphysical realities into motion. The inception of the world is portrayed not just as a chronological commencement, but as the foundational laying of a cosmic order governed by divine statutes. Within these scriptures, time itself is sanctified, marked by celestial alignments and divine proclamations. As the narrative progresses, it becomes clear that these early moments are crucial not merely for their historical significance, but for their theological implications. The establishment of light, land, and life are frequently revisited in theological discussions, serving as a reminder of divine omnipotence and the planned perfection of the universe. These initial acts of creation set the stage for a world where divine commandments guide the spiritual and physical realms, infusing creation with purpose and direction. The first days see the setting of great celestial lights, symbols of divine oversight. Scriptural passages often correlate these celestial bodies with the governance of time and seasons, suggesting a divine clockwork that measures the epochs of human history and spiritual development. Every movement of the heavenly bodies becomes a celestial sermon on divine constancy and human responsibility. Let there be light. What wondrous light. And such grandeur around us. Divine governance is further exemplified in the concepts of jubilees and sabbaths, which are profound times of rest and restoration mandated by the scriptures. These periods are not merely temporal pauses, but are loaded with theological significance, representing divine mercy, justice, and the renewal of creation. They serve as crucial pivot points in the divine timeline, where God intervenes directly into the stream of human affairs. The Jubilee Cycle, in particular, is a fascinating study of divine economics and societal restructuring. Every 50 years, land returns to its original owners, slaves are freed, and debts are forgiven, symbolizing a radical divine reset that underscores themes of redemption and new beginnings. This period reflects a microcosm of the eternal state, where there is no bondage, and every soul rests in divine grace. Scholars often interpret these cycles as God's tutorial for mankind on justice, equity, and compassion, crucial elements for maintaining divine order on earth. The Sabbath, occurring every seventh day, is a mandate for rest for both land and people. It stands as a testament to the importance of rest in God's design for human life, pointing towards a greater eternal rest. Theologically, it underscores a profound truth about divine human relationships, that ultimate reliance should be on God, not on one's own labors. Behold, the Sabbath, a divine gift of rest. Hisatri. And remember, every jubilee resets the world as decreed from on high. The scriptural journey culminates dramatically with prophetic visions of an eternal temple, as seen by prophets such as Ezekiel and John the Revelator. These visions are not merely future promises, but are pivotal in understanding the divine intention for a restored creation where God dwells unequivocally with his people. These prophetic depictions offer rich symbolism and deep theological insights into the nature of God's kingdom. The temple is portrayed as the ultimate reunion of the heavenly and the earthly, a sacred space where divine presence is permanently anchored among the people. Theological analysis suggests that this eternal temple represents the fulfillment of all divine promises and the conclusion of the biblical meta-narrative, where creation, affected by fall and redemption, finally achieves its destined restoration. In the divine timeline, 
Every commandment, every jubilee, and every Sabbath leads to this point of culmination. They are not merely historical or future events, but are current realities that invite the faithful to live in anticipation of this eternal kingdom. For believers, understanding this divine orchestration offers not just a glimpse into celestial mechanics, but a roadmap for spiritual living and eternal hope. In conclusion, the theology of divine timelines not only enriches our understanding of sacred history, but also deepens our engagement with the eternal. It connects every temporal commandment to its eternal outcome, teaching us to see our lives and our times through the lens of divine purpose and destiny. Mm -hmm.